Hello, and welcome to Beyond Books, where we talk about books and always go beyond. I'm your host, I'm Renee. Let's get started with a tag for Tag Tuesday. And <laughs> the reason I'm laughing is Raina wasn't in this room uh, until I gave the little cue, and now guess who's here? Because she's ready for her new treats. So let me get her in position and then I'll get back to you. All right. So Raina definitely deserves a treat for that one. But anyway, yes, it is Tag Tuesday. Uh, so let's get going with the tag. This time I'm going to do the Reader's Profile tag, uh, which was created by Hillary at Book Bustle. Um, and the channel is Hillary B. Green. I'll put a link below. And I was tagged by Ellen uh, at Ellen Made Book Club. So I will put a link to her channel as well. Sit. Sit, please. Thank you. Okay. So the first prompt is, what for you makes a good book? Uh, and I'm going to say that I like a simple uh, straightforward writing style. Uh, some description is always good, of course, uh, but it doesn't have to be a lot, uh, nor does it have to be overly complex. Uh, and I also like characters that are relatable to me. Um, if they do things that I can't understand why they're doing something like that, uh, then I know that that is going to be a book that I won't be as invested in as if um, I did understand the characters better. So I would say those two things, the writing and the characters have to, you know, kind of grab my attention first. Uh, now, next question is, what are you currently reading? So I am reading a man called... Uba, uh, and that is by Frederick Bachman. And I'm actually, I think, almost done. I'm well past the halfway point. So I should be done with that very soon. And I would like to finish it for the end of the month. So that's good. Um, I'm also reading some of the poetry of Mary Oliver. This one is called Devotions. Uh, and um, I got into her poetry uh, when I heard uh, Pat from Book, Book Chat with Pat uh, reading some of it on her channel. Um, I'm also uh, listening to uh, the book called A Prayer for Owen Meany by John Irving. Uh, I am, oh, I think I'm about six or seven hours uh, into that, it is fairly long. It's a 28 hour uh, audio book. So it's going to take me a little bit longer to get that one done. What's the last book you didn't finish and why? Okay, now <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about this. Okay, I'm just going to show the book and I'm going to show you how far I've gotten. And to me, it's not really a DNF yet. I know you guys saw it. <laughs> it's become actually somewhat of a joke uh, on my channel because this has gone on for a while. Um, so here it is. Uh, why? Well, I really don't know. I'm just not going to say anymore. But that's how far I am. So I think it's going to get read. I'm going to keep trying. What obscure book do you wish uh, other people would read? Well, I thought about this one for a while, and um, I really still don't know. Uh, people really kind of have to read what interests them. Uh, and when you think of it, unless you're like some type of an ultra speed reader or something, um, you know, you invest quite a few hours into reading a book. And so, you know, pretty much it has to be something that interests you. So I would rather kind of have things go the 
opposite way. And maybe I meet someone who turns out has the same interests uh, in reading as I do and has read, you know, and enjoyed some of the same books I have uh, rather than take the group of people I know and try to see if I can get them to read books that I like or I think they should read. Um, it never seems to quite work out that way. So, and nobody has the exact same taste and that's fine because the same people that I would want to get to know and get and realize that they like the same books as me. I'd also like to know some of the books they liked that maybe I hadn't read yet. So what's the longest book you've ever read? This is prompt number five. And I think the longest book I've ever read would actually only be about six or seven hundred pages. So that's, you know, really not too long for booktube standards. A lot of people read books that are much longer. Um, Owen Meany is about 650 pages. Um, as I said, that's pretty long on the audiobook. Uh, Wellness by Nathan Hill, which I read a few months ago, uh, was a little over 600. Um, but a few years ago, I got into the Greg Isles books. Um, it's called the Pen Cage series. That's the name of the person that the books are about, Pen Cage. Uh, and uh, I read three of those. And uh, I'm pretty sure I started with Not Just Burning, uh, which is almost 800 pages. Uh, then I read The Bone Tree, which is over 800 pages, and Mississippi Blood, which is about 700 pages. So all these came out in like the mid-2010s. Um, They're great series. Uh, and also, you know, that was quite a time commitment uh, for me while I was, you know, working full-time plus at the time. So um, I know I had some on audiobook. And, you know, that probably helped me as far as kind of organizing my time to, you know, get through all of those. So those were probably the longest ones that I remember. Number six, if you could have a dinner party with five fictional characters, who would they be? <laughs> um, I'll tell you, I have a ready-made dinner party uh, because there is a series by John Grisham. I read the first two. I haven't read the third one yet. It just came out, I think, fairly recently. Uh, it's called the Camino series. Uh, and they're, they're definitely not his most popular books. Um, they aren't even about lawyers. <laughs> However, they are about a bookseller who promotes new authors uh, in the fictional place where he lives, which is Camino Island uh, in Florida. And he often has dinner parties at his home for the new authors in the area. Uh, so I definitely would have him in my dinner party uh, to help kind of organize the party and keep the wine and the conversation going. Uh, and then um, his, his name is Bruce Cable, that character. Uh, but I would also invite Serge Storms. Uh, from the Tim Dorsey series about Florida. I'd invite Dexter from the Dexter series. I'd invite uh, Lucy Stoltz, who is also a John Grisham character. Uh, she's a Florida lawyer who investigates ethics complaints. And then I would also invite uh, Lucy Farinelli uh, from Patricia Cornwell's Case Garpetta series. Uh, she's uh, Kay's niece. She's also an investigator, but not of the medical type. Uh, she was in the FBI, and now she investigates cybercrime. So all of these people have Florida uh, in common. I lived in Florida for almost 20 years. So um, yeah, I think we could have our dinner party in Key West and have a great time. Number seven, uh, five books you'd want if stranded on a desert island. So <laughs> my first question would be, um, how long am I going to be stranded on this island? <laughs> because um, five books doesn't strike me as really taking up 
too much time. I can have a pretty busy month and still, you know, read through five books. Um, but I think as far as usefulness of the books, I would want to have a Gray's Anatomy because um, I just find that type of reading and things about the human body and physio physiology and anatomy to be very interesting. And I think it could also be helpful on the island. Um, I guess I would have plenty of sunshine because I need good light. <laughs> I'd also probably need a magnifying glass because the print is very small. Um, maybe some beach glass or something would work. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so I would have that, uh, probably a dictionary, um, cause I might end up having to write my own books and stories to amuse myself. Um, a book of edible plants and herbs sounds like it would just be, you know, very useful. Um, especially if they're ones that might grow in the area. Uh, I wouldn't mind having a travel guide with maps <laughs> kind of to the area too, to at least know, um, you know, what's around me. And so what I might expect. And then I would also like to have a copy. And I like this translation a lot. I would also like to have a copy of the Dao Zhe Jing. Um, now, I did find a little selection here. That I think, I mean, how would you not want to have this on a desert island? Listen to this now. Colors blind the eye, sounds deafen the ear, flavors numb the taste, thoughts weaken the mind, desires wither the heart. The master observes the world, but trusts his inner vision. He allows things to come and go. His heart is open as the sky. I mean, I think that would just help you out on a desert island, you know? Just be such good companionship. So, now we're on number eight. One book you could not put down. Well, most recently, uh, I would have to say that that book was Razor Blade Tears by S.A. Cosby. Um, yeah, very compelling read absolutely held my attention. So I'd say that that was one I, I couldn't put down. Number nine, five books or authors you will never read. Um, I don't know what I really want to say about that. Um, cause I hate to say that I'll never do something. Um, sometimes there are circumstances that do lead you, um, to do things that otherwise would be out of character for you. So I don't really want to close the door on anything. So I won't. I don't think there are five books or authors that I want to say I would never read. So finally, number 10, if you were to write a book, what would it be about? Well, if I were to write a book, it would probably be a medical mystery, uh, since that's what I know best. Um, I think it would be about a nurse and uh, maybe her name would be Renee. Just saying. Um, and she would, you know, of course be the one to, you know, solve the puzzle and save the day. Um, you know, she would probably also like adventure and uh, she would hike the Appalachian trail with, her dog, who, you know, is a loyal rescue. Her name might be Raina. Um, and then she would also travel and maybe be a traveling nurse who does international work with a disaster relief organization. That'd be kind of interesting. Um, and her dog maybe not only is a rescue, but also performs rescues, like at earthquake and hurricane sites, things like that. So, um, and I think some of the story would be written from the dog's perspective. Right, Raina? So, yeah, I like that. All right. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and happy Tag Tuesday.